Namaste to all. Extremely important knowledge shared by my Acharya in the yesterday's Ednya. My Acharya was conducting Garbadan Sanskar. And in Garbadan Sanskar, my Acharya explained a very, very deep philosophy by using the word Apsavya Tanuhu. The word Apsavya Tanuhu comes in the you know mantras of Garbadan and Sanskar again and again and again. And my Acharya was explaining that, see, God is giving a very, very important message. And also this is uh, accepted by all the Rishi Munis in Sanatan Dharma. Apsavya Tanuhu, when you do not, Tanu means our body. When we do not serve our parents, when we do not serve our mother-in-law, father-in-law, acharya, elders, etc., etc., what happens is we get a dosha. And this dosha actually sometimes prevents us to get child in the Grahasthashrama. So God gives a very, very important advice in the Grahasthashrama that you are now trying for getting babies. You must... not get in this apsavya tanuhu dosha with you apsavya tanuhu means you have not served your in-laws you have not served your parents both male and female but here more advices towards female because after marriage in sanatan dharma after marriage the girl she leaves her house and comes to the boy's house so my acharya was explaining that the moment you know you lift your house and you come to your husband's house you must treat your in-laws as your own parents your mother-in-law is your mother your father in law is like your father you must serve them like your mother and father similarly you must serve your uh, elders in the uh, you know in your husband's house similarly you and your husband every both of you must serve the learned acharya of vedas and listen vedas and try to implement vedic knowledge in life and when somebody does this kind of thing then there will not be the dosha of apsavya tanuhu so we will get rid of this dosha and then natch automatically almighty god is giving a blessing that the moment you start serving your parents the moment you start serving your acharyas and your in-laws then the you will automatically get uh, you know conceived and the blessings of almighty god will be on you so this is a very very important and today we are seeing that everywhere wherever you go there is a problem between mother in law and the uh, daughter in law so uh, they have lot of frictions and my acharya was explaining yesterday that even manusmriti also tells the same and vedas also tells the same that do not make you know marriage with within close vicinity like example you are living in uh, in for example you are living in chennai in mailapur do not ma- get married the girl to another person living you know uh, to the husband, to the boy who is living near like uh, in triple k or ambattur or like uh, within the vicinity always try to go far away so that you know for small small issues the girl does not come to their parents house because the parents have given the dana the parents in the vivah sanskar the girl's parents has given the dan the donation of the uh, donation this is donation means this is a very very important donation donation means they are giving the hand of their own child to the boy saying that i am giving you my uh, my daughter to you you must take care of her throughout the life and your parents are her parents so after you gives suppose i give donation to my acharya suppose i give 10000 rupees to my acharya i cannot say acharya okay can you give me 1000 rupees back this is not donation donation in sanatan dharma means dan donation is not a correct translation dan is a very good word pious word when you do dana you ca- you do not have rights on that dan if the moment you give something to acharya that is acharya's property similarly when the shaadi happens when the marriage happens the girl is donated to the has the boy's family so she is belonging to the boy's family so the interference of her parents should be very very minimum it should be to the you know uh, formality of hi hello how are you that's it but today due to lack of knowledge of vedas we have mo mamta we have attachment the girl mother has got so much attachment towards girl and girl has so much attachment towards her mother she wants to tell everything what is happening in the house and then the girl's mother will give some advices then the fight will start this kind of things we are seeing day in and day out and we would have also experienced if you are married you would have experienced this kind of thing so my acharya says that you have to do seva service to elders without judging them don't judge them and my acharya was telling his own personal example my acharya said that see i lost my mother at young age of 11 months when i i was 11 months old my mother died and the my father married another uh, uh, woman and then she was my soteli ma but i served my soteli ma like my own mom but she never treated me as her own son but when seeing my service 
i never judged her she was uh, she was not uh, behaving good with me but i i always served her and when the, when the time she was dying she gave all her blessings to me not to her original son because he, he did not serve her mother i used to serve her lot so my acharya is a living example of do not judge others while serving he is a living example see every rishi muni they always speak what they have practiced in life so my acharya said that an important thing that if you are serving your mother in law father in law serve without judging them just to serve as if you are serving almighty god then what will happen the dosha of absavya tanu will not be on you and definitely you will get conceived this is a very very important knowledge and also we must also remember about sanatan dharma everybody should do garbhadan sanskar that means praying to almighty god in the yajna for a pious baby then try to conceive the baby this is the, our sanatan dharma and also my acharya this this is one of the you know great piece of advice which is useful for all the grihasthas and my acharya said that uh, never get into attachment never get into momamta never get into alasya after marriage the the girl the girl gets married and goes to her husband's house she should not be in alasya she should not uh, sleep in daytime she should work throughout the day just like husband is working throughout the day in the office similarly the wife has to work throughout the day and she can take rest only in the evening so when you work throughout the day then everybody will be pleased with your service and try to keep a humble attitude this is a very very important advice my acharya gave yesterday and today in uh, in the yagya my acharya spoke about mrityu my acharya spoke about mind my acharya said badram api vateya na the uh, the mantra is i think from ayurveda the man, my, my acharya was telling that we are praying to almighty god that please give me pious thoughts to almighty god and let my mind go in the pious way let my mind doesn't do not go in the uh, you know kaam krodh madlob ahankar in the way of sensuality because mind is made from prakriti naturally mind gets attracted towards sensuality but we are praying to almighty god and we are doing sadhana we must do everyday sadhana to control mind and when we do everyday sadhana when we do everyday worship of almighty god and when we pray to almighty god to make our mind pious definitely god will help us and we should also strive very hard and my acharya was telling that uh, even he was speaking about mrityu my acharya was telling that there are two types of ways one is devayan marga other one is pitriyan marga pitriyan marga means the cycle of birth and death devayan marg means once you adopt the vedic knowledge almighty god will give you next birth again in the place where vedas exist and again you can continue your tapasya and in the devayan marg you will get so much of happiness so much of peace of mind so and you will also have an acharya to support you to take you through the vedic path and also you will attain moksha my acharya gave a very important example of a pigeon for example the pigeon is is considered as a pitriyoni like you know pigeon lives we would have seen near near our houses pigeon lives male and female it gives a anda that's a egg and then from the egg a small pigeon will come again it will grow the the parents will die then the that uh, small pigeon will grow and then male female again will give an, um, new eggs and new pigeon will come again and again this cycle will go on and on and the the uh, the elder ones will die and the younger ones will again grow old and this cycle will continue this is pitriyana marga there is no focus there is no dharma there is no worship of almighty god this is what will ha- happen if this is a pigeon example but the same life is seen in the human beings if we do not adopt vedas this is very very important example my acharya shared and my acharya said that guru kripa you have to go to an acharya to take his kripa to take his blessings to take his knowledge towards vedic path if you do not have guru kripa if you do not have the uh, you know marg darshan of an acharya if you do not have the enlightenment towards which path you must walk from an acharya you can never attain that path so it's most important that you must go towards the adhyatmic path and uh, when you do yagya when you do yagya every time whenever you go to acharya listen vedas again and again your spiritual path will become so much uh, you know powerful that you will not deviate and come into pitriyan marg you will go into devyan marg always so this is very very important and my acharya also say that god is giving an aashirvad by doing this kind of activity moral deeds everyday yagya sadhana mrityu padam 
you will not walk the path of mrityu you will cross over the mrityu so this is very very important and also last week also my acharya was continuously speaking about mrityu my acharya told mrityu is the biggest klesha you to overcome mrityu you must do sadhana to overcome mrityu you have to walk the vedic path there is no other path there is only one path to cross over mrityu people can tell there are hundreds of paths are there to cross mrityu but there is no other path there is only one path so this is the knowledge my acharya told and my acharya also told about uh, by doing you know every day yagna nagnihotra worship of almighty god your life span will be more you will not you will live at least let's say 70 90 100 years without any problem and you will worship almighty god until until the time of death and that is how you will again get the devi anmark and also my acharya said by god is giving a pious blessing in the ajurveda mantra that you be happy like you know a small child is dancing he or she is singing dancing like that she he or she is very happy the small child similarly your life will become very happy very peaceful when you follow this path thank you so much namaste om